Arthur, help me. My pumpkin pie is missing. First, I took the pumpkin pie out of the oven. Then I put the pumpkin pie on the table to cool. And now I can't find the pumpkin pie anywhere. I have family coming over tomorrow night for family dinner and I have to serve them my famous pumpkin pie that's their favorite. Is there anybody out there who can help me find my missing pumpkin pie? It's your lucky day. I can help you, Mrs. Taylor. I'm Detective Taylor and I love to solve mysteries. When did you notice that your pumpkin pie was missing? Hmm. I think it was Friday night around 6.30 p.m. Perfect. Now we can look closer at the statements from all six of the suspects to help us draw conclusions to figure out which one actually stole the pumpkin pie. Boys and girls, do you think you can help me solve the crime? Well, that would be great. Help me read carefully through each of the statements to figure out the evidence that we need to draw conclusions about whether or not they actually took the pumpkin pie. But what's the best way to draw conclusions? Step one, no matter what reading skill you're working on, all good readers must read the entire story first. Then grab your magnifying glass and look for clues in the text to help you determine what the author is trying to tell you. Underline or highlight the clues in the text. Step three, detectives take notes in their notebooks so they can think about all of the clues they found and then they can put it together to help them draw a conclusion as to which suspect did the crime. Check out this graphic organizer. See how you can put three clues together to form your conclusion on the bottom? If you find more clues, just add more boxes. Hey, check it out. You're a detective just like me. After that, think about what else you know about the topic. You might be able to use your prior knowledge along with the clues you found in the text to help you draw a conclusion as to what the author is talking about. Let's go back to the scene of the crime so we can look for evidence to help us solve our mystery. Oh no, I need your help. Someone stole my pumpkin pie. I took the pie out of the oven, then I put it on the kitchen table to cool. Now I cannot find it anywhere. Can someone please help me solve the mystery of my missing pumpkin pie? I have family coming over for dinner tonight. Did you find any evidence in the paragraph? The first piece of evidence that I noticed is that somebody stole a pumpkin pie. There are different characteristics of a pumpkin pie that separates it from different types of pie. As a detective, I like to keep track of all the evidence on a graphic organizer. The first thing that I wrote down was that someone stole my pumpkin pie. That may be important because there are so many different types of pies out there. Let's see what suspect one has to say. I love my mom's pies, especially during the holidays. My favorite kind has nuts in them. Everyone wants me to make one for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. It's so sweet and delicious. Can it be suspect number one? No, probably not. Suspect one likes pies with nuts like a pecan pie. Pumpkin pies don't have nuts in them. Let's look at suspect number two. I love pies. My favorite pie uses a fruit that grows on a tree. My family picks a basket of them every fall. Next, we peel the red or green skin off, cut it into pieces, and bake them in the pie. I need some more pie for the bake sale. Could it be suspect number two? Earlier in the video, we mentioned how you not only use what you read when you draw a conclusion, but you also use what you know. That's called your prior knowledge. Here's another piece of evidence for our graphic organizer. Here's something that I know about pumpkins. Pumpkins grow on a vine on the ground. Let's see if that helps us figure out if the suspect is guilty or not. Looking back on the piece of evidence that we added to the graphic organizer, it really does help us when we think about what we know. We know that this particular suspect likes to use fruit that grows on a tree. Well, we just said that pumpkins don't grow on trees, they grow on vines. So there's no way that suspect number two is guilty. Were you able to tell that suspect number two likes apple pies? An apple is a fruit that grows on a tree, and the outside of an apple is either red or green, and you can take the skin off. So this particular suspect is definitely not guilty. Let's check out suspect number three. My dog Carly likes to eat everything. She tries to steal our food when we're eating on trays in the living room. She can jump really high. She's visiting her grandma Thursday and Friday, so we can get ready for our big family dinner Saturday night. Do you think Carly could have taken the pumpkin pie? Carly looks awfully suspicious when you look at all the evidence that's highlighted in yellow. She's a dog that likes to steal our food and can jump really high. She could very easily have jumped up on the table, grabbed the pumpkin pie, and enjoyed it all for herself. When I read the text again, I noticed another piece of evidence. Carly visited her grandma Thursday and Friday night, so she wasn't even home during the crime. The crime actually happened on Friday night at 6.30. She was at her grandma's house, so there's no way that she could have done it. 
Let's add this information to our graphic organizer. I feel it's really important to include the time of the crime in order to solve your mystery. So it happened on Friday night at 6.30 p.m. on November 26, 2021. Moving on to suspect number four. Hi everyone, I'm Charlie. I just tasted the most delicious brown pie made from cocoa powder. I hope that the baker will come work in my factory. I need more pies to sell. Do you think it could be suspect number four? No, it doesn't sound like suspect number four did it either. That person's name is Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That was a great book and movie. In the movie, the character makes everything out of chocolate in the factory. So we have a brown pie made out of cocoa powder. It doesn't sound like it's pumpkin pie because there are no chocolate ingredients in pumpkin pie. So we're going to have to keep looking for another suspect. Here's a scoop on suspect number five. It's important to remember others during the holiday season. I ask others to donate pies so those that visit us get a delicious meal and a tasty treat. We can pick pies up from your house Monday through Thursday, or you can drop them off at our center on Friday. Do you think suspect number five did it? No, I really don't think Suspect 5 did it either. They are very kind people who are asking others to donate pies so that they can serve meals to other people. That just doesn't sound like somebody who would steal a pie. And besides that, the pickup for your house is Monday through Thursday. The pie wasn't even created until Friday. And if the person didn't remember dropping them off on Friday, I really don't think that these people are involved in the crime. Here's the evidence on suspect number six. I'm so busy these days that I get really tired. I went to bed after dinner because I needed a nap. When I'm really sleepy, I sleepwalk. Then I wake up and I don't really remember what happened. I did notice a dirty fork in the sink when I woke up. I wonder what that's from. Oh no, it looks like the suspect was me. Oops. Here's the evidence that we found as we watched the security cameras in my house. I sleepwalk. I don't really remember what happened, even when I wake up. And I did notice a dirty fork in the sink. That was probably from me eating the pumpkin pie at the refrigerator. Some people eat dinner around 5.30 p.m., so it's possible that I took a nap at 6 and woke up at 6.30. So, I confess, I think I was the suspect and ate my own pumpkin pie. Oh no, I'm so sorry I made you do all this work, but thanks for solving my mystery. Here is an updated version of our graphic organizer. I added one more piece of evidence. Mrs. Taylor walks in her sleep. All four pieces of evidence help me draw the conclusion that Mrs. Taylor, suspect number six, stole and ate her pumpkin pie Friday night. But let's not give her a hard time. She didn't know she was doing it after all. We did it. Thanks so much for helping me solve the mystery today of the missing pumpkin pie. Thanks so much for helping Detective Taylor solve the mystery today and help her figure out which suspect took my pumpkin pie. Thanks to you, my family dinner was saved. If you liked today's video, click the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single adventure. And as an added bonus, if you subscribe today, we'll share with you a slice of my famous pumpkin pie. Until next time, keep on reading everyone. Goodbye.